10 miles of transit connecting the East Metro to 100,000 jobs. That is the promise of the $500 million Metro Gold Line bus rapid transit project. And today, it got a major boost in federal funding. Morgan Wolf is live in St. Paul with more on that and an update on where the project stands. Morgan? This project is cruising along nicely. Actually, this bridge here will be closing next week for the Gold Line Construction Project. And today, our state senators, along with our governor, were joining local leaders in accepting $240 million in federal funding. Connecting communities in the East Metro. That is what this project is all about, connecting people to their lives. The 10 mile long line is scheduled to be finished in two years. There's nothing better than showing up with a check. $239 million from the Federal Transit Administration. This will be making up half of the total cost of this project for the Gold Line. Ramsey and Washington counties contributed $120 million each. The Gold Line stretches from Woodbury to St. Paul to 16 stations. It will run parallel to Frontage Roads and I-94. Around 70% of the route is going to be bus-only lanes. These are things that make a difference in people's lives. We are not stopping. We know this is hard. Transit projects are hard. Five cities, two counties, one big investment connecting them together. Critics previously have pointed out some uh, um, concerns about expanding with Metro Transit, saying that there is lower ridership since the pandemic and an increase in crime. And today Metro Transit told me that they did see a 43% increase in ridership from 2021 to 2022. And within that same time frame, they did see a 145% increase in crime around narcotics and weapons. That is why they came out with a new safety action plan. We previously did a story on that in January. If you want to visit care11.com to go read more about it.